high they are asked to solve for the value of x all right now first let's divide through by 16 to the power of x okay so we have this divided by 16 to the power of x divided by 16 to the power of x divided by 16 to the power of x okay now this we divide this to give us what 1 plus 44 to the power of x divided by 16 to the power of x is equal to 1 2 1 to the power of x divided by 16 to the power of x now recall that a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m is equal to a divided by b everything raised to the power of m okay all right so that is exactly what i'm going to do right here so i'll write 1 plus 44 divided by 16 to the power of x is equal to 1 2 1 divided by 16 to the power of what x okay now it's time to look out for common factors yes because that is the only way I can bring out something here. So I have 1 plus 44 and 16. They have 4 in common. The common factor is 4. So when 44 is divided by 4, I will have 11. And when 16 is divided by 4, I will have 4. Raised to the power of x is equal to. Now when you look at this, what I see is just squares. Because 1 to 1 is 11 squared and 16 is 4 squared. So I'm going to write that 11 squared. 4 squared, everything to the power of x. All right. Now we have 1 plus 11 to the power... <laughs> 11 divided by 4 to the power of x is equal to... So I want you to remember what we did here. So we are going to do that here. So we have 11 to the power of 4 raised to the power of x. 11 divided by 4 raised to the power of x. Now everything to the power of... Mm, raised to the power of 2 that is what they have in common now everything to the power of x so recall that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of mn i would like you to sit put and watch to the end because at a point i'm going to assign something to this and that is going to take us a longer way in solving this so don't think that once we form our quadratic equation we are done no we still have a long way to go and some mathematics to do there okay so it's not as easy as you think so we have 1 plus 11 divided by 4 raised to the power of x is equal to now i'm going to transfer this and bring this in yes because a to the power of mn that is m to the power of n sorry is the same thing as a to the power of n raised to the power of m the powers can be interchanged so we are going to interchange this power right now. So we have 11 divided by 4 raised to the power of x, everything squared. All right. Now we have this and this. It's time to simplify. So we are going to say let 11 divided by 4 to the power of x be equal to y. So let's call it y. If we do that, that means we have 1 plus y, right? 1 plus y is equal to y squared. So this is a very important equation. We are going to come back to it in order to use it to get the value of x. So you see why I said seat put that is not as easy as you think. But if this is the first time you're seeing this face, please click on the subscription button here so that you will get notified anytime I upload a new video so that you will become full member of this channel and you will always see my face, okay? So please subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. Please give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying the video, all right? Which I know you are. Now, let us solve. Let us solve. So this is quadratic equation, so I'm going to arrange it well. So my square comes first, followed by this and this. I'll write my y squared. Then this will come here to become minus y. This will come to become minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this is what I have. So, to solve this, I need to use my quadratic equation formula, which says that y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. And I'm going to use this because I can't do this by factorization method. Okay. So, here our a is the coefficient of y squared, which is 1. Our b is coefficient of y, which is minus 1. And our c is our constant, which is minus 1 as well. So we are going to substitute this into this particular 
quadratic equation quadratic formula so y is equal to minus minus one that is plus one right then plus or minus square root of b squared that is minus one squared which is one minus four ac four multiplied by a our a is one and our c is minus one everything divided by two a that is two multiplied by one now we have that y is equal to one plus or minus the square root of one minus minus is plus and we have four right four times one is still four now divided by two times one is two so our y is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2. That is everything divided by 2. Okay, now we are going to use the other side of the board. Please give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. All right. Now, so these are the values of y. That y is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 divided by 2. So that means we have two values of y. The first one is y is 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. And the second value of y is 1 minus root 5 divided by 2. Okay? And for that, let's uh, consider the first one. Recall that we said... 11 over 4 to the power of x is equal to y. 11 over 4 to the power of x is equal to y. Okay? So, but 11 over 4 to the power of x is equal to 1. All right? So, for is equal to y, sorry. So, for this, we can replace it with what? 11 over 4 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. Now, looking at this, there's nothing we can do here except introduce a life-saving log reading, okay? So, we are going to introduce log to both sides of the equation, all right? Is equal to log 1 plus root 5 divided by 2, all right? Okay, now what do we do next? Recall that log a to the power of b is equal to b can come down to multiply your log a okay so as a result of that we are going to bring down this x so we are going to have x multiplied by log 11 over 4 okay is equal to log 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 so to get the value of x, we need to divide both sides of the equation by log 11 over 4, all right? So if we do that, we are going to have that x is equal to log 1 plus root 5, everything divided by 2, right? Divided by, because this will come to divide this, that is log 11 over 4, all right? But... When you have log A divided by log B, as long as this log are of the same base, okay, you can express this as log A base B, all right? So that means that we can express this particular solution as X is equal to log 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 base 11 over 4, all right? Okay, now for the second value, for the second value of our y, recall that y is equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2. And when we solve this, we are going to get a negative number, right? All right, we got a negative number. That is not an issue for now. But have you thought about this? If we get this as a negative number and we put it here, you don't have log to what? Log of a negative number is invalid. So that means that we cannot use the second solution. Therefore, the only solution we have for our x is what? That x is equal to log 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 base 11 over 4. Thank you so much for watching.